Got this not secure message on your website? Let's fix that. I'll show you three methods of how to get an SSL certificate 100% free that works no matter the situation you're currently in. Method one, native tools. The easiest and fastest way to get an SSL is to use the tools provided by your hosting company already. For example, if you're in hosting, you're just navigate to security, then SSL, choose your domain and click install. And if you're using cPanel providers like A2 Hosting, just navigate to cPanel, then SSL slash TLS, click on Manage SSL Sites and browse certificates. Then just find the domain you want your SSL to be active on, for me it's emmetssl.com, click on Use Certificate and finally Install Certificate. And that's pretty much it. These certificates will actually renew automatically and can be issued on any domain attached to your web hosting plan. However, if your control panel doesn't offer these options, don't worry, there's actually a couple more methods that you can use, for example, method 2, Cloudflare. If you have access to your domain name system, or DNS in short, you can actually use Cloudflare to add an auto-renewing SSL to your domain. To do this, visit cloudflare.com and register for a free account. If you already have an account, you can use that instead. Once inside your Cloudflare dashboard, click on the Add Site button at the top right, type in your website name that needs the SSL certificate, and click on Add Site. Choose the free option, let Cloudflare scan your existing DNS records, this might take a couple of seconds, and simply click on Continue once it's done. And now comes the hardest part, which is actually still quite easy you'll need to copy and paste these two name servers in place of your existing ones. So just click here to copy, navigate to your DNS area, and switch the name servers one by one. And now here's the actually hard part, where you'll need to wait. DNS propagation can take up to 24 hours, but in my experience, it's pretty much always 10 to 20 minutes. Don't do anything else, just refresh the Cloudflare page once in a while until you see this screen with a green check mark. After you're done waiting and the DNS has finally propagated, go into the SSL slash DLS section, and as you can see here, we currently don't have an end-to-end -end encryption. Information is only encrypted between the browser and Cloudflare. So let's select the full encryption method. Now we'll need to generate our origin server certificate for everything to work. So navigate to origin server here at the left, click on create certificate and leave all of these settings default. You'll see two windows of information that we'll need to paste into our hosting panel. Copy the first window and if you're using a custom panel like Hostinger, navigate to websites click Manage next to the website that needs the SSL, then go into Security and SSL. You'll see there's an option to Import SSL. Click on it and paste the information from Cloudflare. Do the same for the private key and the last window called the CA bundle can be left empty. After everything is done, you should see that the SSL is installed and will expire in 15 years. Now, if you're using cPanel, the process is pretty much the same. Just scroll down to the SSL slash TLS area and click on Manage SSL Sites. Choose your domain from the list and paste in the information from Cloudflare. Again, the CA bundle can be left empty. Method 3, File Verification. Okay, let's say you don't have access to your DNS, you don't have native tools to install an SSL, and you're using a free subdomain like emmetssl.us.to. By the way, I have a guide on how you can get a name like that for free right here. What do you do then? Well, you can install an SSL using only the file manager. To get started, visit 0ssl.com and type in your domain name, then register for a free account. Here, if you're using a subdomain, you can delete the www option. If you're using a domain, you can keep both. Choose the 90-day certificate and click on Next Step. Then choose the free plan. Here, we'll want to use the HTTP file upload option. 
So first things first, let's navigate to our website files and open up the file manager. We need to have a folder named dot well dash known here. If it's not already created, you can actually create it yourself. Just make sure to use the full name. Yes, even with the dot and then create a folder called PKI dash validation inside dot well dash known. And this is pretty much the hardest part. So next, let's download our auth file, just drag and drop it inside the folder we've created earlier once the download is finished. Now, if all was done correctly, you should see a similar page open when you click here. Finally, just verify your domain. And once verified, download your certificate files and save them somewhere on your computer. Now, let's go back to Hostinger and navigate to Security and SSL. Then look for the Import SSL option. We can actually open up the files using Notepad and paste in the content to Hostinger one by one. Just make sure the correct file goes into the correct window. And once you're done, your SSL certificate will be active. I'll just refresh the page using Ctrl plus Shift plus R. And yep, it's all working correctly. And if you're using cPanel, the process is the same. Scroll down to SSL slash TLS area and click on Manage SSL Sites. Choose your domain from the list and paste in the information from the files. The downside is that this SSL will expire in 90 days, so you'll need to redo it once every three months or so. And here you have it. Get a free SSL in three different methods. This works for pretty much any situation that I could have think of and you might be in. By the way, if you're looking for some free web hosting to go with your free SSL, make sure to check out this video next and I'll see you in the next one.